Yeah, Marsh, that was a pretty strange journey to the unimaginable. Man, this album is actually a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Like, I didn't really think it was just going to be wack. It's just like, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. This album actually seems like a lot more, uh, for the most part, a lot more serious than uh, Merch, um, you know, previous bodies of work. I mean, not, I mean, not saying that he ain't never really been serious. It's just like, most of the time, he kind of like, he's real comical, you know what I'm saying? Real funny, you know, real funny songs, funny concepts and all that. Which, there was some of that on here, you know what I'm saying? But, um, like, he was getting real on this album, you know what I'm saying? My favorite song, I think it was uh, either A Lean Story or Vows. A Lean Story... That track stood out to me the most because, um, like, he's just telling a story, a story about, like, I think the first time he sipped lean, and it was like, I know it was, he had these two lines where he said he had a little brother that went to PV who put him up on, like, DJ Screw and Pimp C, so, like, I'm like, what? Merz had a little brother that went to PV? For those of y'all that don't know, I am an alumni of Prairie View and m University. It's like, on the outskirts of Houston, that's what he was talking about. Cause like sipping lean is a big thing in Houston, you know what I'm saying? And really, most parts of the South as a whole, you know? But um, yeah, so that stood out the most to me, you know? Just because of them two lines. PV, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I like Vows a lot because like, he's talking about um, when him and his wife took their uh, wedding vows and um, just the uh, journey of where they went from there and so forth and you know it kind of like just makes me you know stay optimistic for my wedding day you know it's just a matter of finding the right woman you know what I'm saying even though I low key think I already found her it's just just trying to get her to give me a chance you know what I'm saying but that's neither here nor there um some other songs I liked were uh, the intro, which was the unimaginable. Um, on that one, he talked about, um, I think he lost a son. Um, he said his son was born was born with no heartbeat. And I, it was just like, you know, he's talking about like, he felt like, you know, I don't know if he necessarily felt like God was punishing him, but he said he felt like God had his foot on his neck. You know what I'm saying? But he was still persevering through that. Um, Melancholy was pretty good. Midtown was pretty good with uh, John Gibbs. Um, this is about like, that was about like gang turfs in LA, which is where Merch is from. Like, I don't really know like what sets control uh, what side of town. The only thing I know is like Long Beach, like predominantly Crips. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no blood sets in Long Beach, but, um, yeah. Uh, same way with Tech 9 that was funny. Powerful with, uh, Propaganda, that was good. Like, I'm surprised he had Propaganda on here, because Propaganda is a gospel rapper, I think. Unless this is another guy named Propaganda, but the Propaganda I know about is a gospel rapper, because I remember, um, one of my friends from PV, I, I used to go to Bible studies with, put me on to him. Um, let's see. The superhero pool party was really good. Um, it's like he's telling a story to, uh, to his son, of, uh, like a bedtime story about like a superhero pool party. It's like, he had this one line where he talked about the Black Panther and Storm. And uh, what did he say? He said somebody was like, where'd the child and Storm go? They in the bathroom making a porno. I'm like, bro, really? That's cold. <laughs> um, Whiskey and Patron with uh, XB was pretty good. Lo-Fi Nights was pretty good. Um, 
He said, I'm too low fi for your technology. My mind too wide for your psychology. My God too big for your biology. So I'm gonna keep living my life with no apologies. Like, that's that's probably the realest thing I think he said on his album. Or one of the realest things, man. Like, that's so true. Um, so close so far was good. I wish he would have credited that singer that was on there. I don't know uh, who that was. Celebrate was good. Um, and God is the greatest. That was good. And the whole album was produced by Michael Seven Summers, which is the resident uh, producer on Strange Music. Um, all the guest features he had were, let's see, Robots and Balloons. John Gibbs, Tech Nine, Propaganda, Fashion, and Prof, XV, and uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, man, like Merch, Strange Journey to the Unimaginable, man. Really, really good album, man. Go check that out. It's dope.